Good morning, guys. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are you doing? My apologies for eve or morning prayer being so late. Something came up this morning, uh, and I'm hoping that what I'm doing on this particular subject is having a positive effect. It kind of seems like it's veering that way. I'm hoping that what I'm putting into this is going to turn out to be a really good blessing. But anyway, nevertheless, we're going to get into morning prayer right now. I did not forget about you guys. I did not forget about the Lord. Just uh, got into a weird situation. Uh, don't want to go into too many details because it doesn't really matter anyway. So let's get right into it. We're going to pray with Psalm 84, the blessedness of dwelling in the house of God. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ to bless you, to praise you, to honor you, to glorify you, to lift you up higher than the heavens, to lay praises on your name. Thank you for the amazing blessings you pour out upon us. Thank you for your love, your mercy, and your patience with us as we come around, as we wake up as a church body, as we start to realize just exactly what you're doing, what you've provided for us, and just how much you love us, that you give us so much space to, to, to get saved. We do know that there's a day coming when the door will be shut and there will be, be no, more, no more chance. Those after that point are going to have to suffer and struggle. I thank you that we are part of the group that doesn't have to go through that. But Lord, help us reach more. Help us find more. Help us show more people the light. That you may be glorified. This morning I'd like to pray Psalm 84. Oh, first, Father, I apologize for morning prayer being so late. But you know the situation of what's going on and what I'm trying to accomplish with this situation. I don't know if it's actually coming to fruition, but we'll see. This morning I'd like to pray Psalm 84, the blessedness of dwelling in the house of God. How lovely is your tabernacle, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you. Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a spring. The rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. O God, behold our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withheld, will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. And Father, you remember the conversations me and my own earthly dad had about, I'd rather sweep floors in heaven than do anything and be anywhere near hell and verse 10 sorry not verse 10 yes verse 10 reiterates that same point and that same attitude if I could be the lowest in heaven and not go to hell that is perfectly fine with me but whatever reward you have waiting for me that I'm not aware of whatever position you have that you want me to hold that I'm not aware of it is all blessings upon blessings above just being able to stand in heaven with you to worship you in eternity and in your presence everything else is a blessing upon a blessing and thank you for those blessings father we believe everything you say we trust what your word says and like psalm 119 160 says the sum of your word is truth and every one of your righteous rules endures forever Father, we take what you say way too, too much for granted nowadays in the end of this age. And we should be looking more specifically at what you said and focusing on the truth contained within your word. Help us to see these truths and to share these truths, which 
amazingly, I already see that happening. And it's awesome to see. The attacks are nonstop. The hatred is higher than it's ever been. Not by unbelievers, by Christians. But Father, we know that you have a plan. We know that you are going to establish the just. Those that are saved, those that are yours, those that have the Holy Spirit indwelling, we know you are going to take care of everything because your infinite love sees things we can't see. But while we're here and because we don't have that ability, Lord, give us the, the ability to love without measure, to forgive without hesitation, and to honor and to bless nonstop. It is in your name, Lord Jesus, that we pray and give thanks profusely. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. Again, I apologize for it being late. But real quick, go back to verse 10. Because me and my dad really would have these conversations where I'd, I'd rather sweep floors in heaven than anything else. Lord, if I could just stand at the backside and watch, that would be good enough for me. I... I my personal mentality is if I have rewards and crowns coming, they all belong to Jesus anyway. I'm giving it all to him because just to have a position at his right hand is good enough for me. I am perfectly content with just being there. And if that's all I get, I'm not going to complain. I'll be happy with that. There are a lot of people that are just, they're so adamant that I've got to get this, i got to get this. And, and what happens is when you focus on those things, which it's good to focus on those but when you make that your entire focus, it can start to lead into some dark territory. That's why I keep that next to me striving for him, but it sits just a tiny bit back from that. That way, that's not my primary focus. My primary focus is the Lord. My primary focus is the truth, which is his word, which is him. He is truth. To get that out to people, to, to help people understand what some of these things mean that we've been misrepresented or misled to thinking there's something else and the rest of this stuff is going to be a blessing on top of that I'll gladly receive it but like I said I'm giving it to him because he's the one that earned it I haven't earned it I was given this gift of salvation so guys make sure you take your time with the Lord every day if I ever miss a prayer video you know what to do you guys have been watching the videos do it yourself you can go and do an individual evening or morning or evening sacrifice of prayer on your own. Um, you never know what the world's going to bring. You never know what the day's going to bring. Uh, I could end up in a situation sometime where I can't do a prayer and I can't let you know about it. You guys know what to do. Don't rely on me to be the sole leader of prayer. Every one of you is a prayer leader. Every one of you is a prayer warrior. Every one of you is a worshiper of God. I love you guys. I bless you all in Jesus' name. And I will see you guys in the next video.